from e-learning channel museum. Today, we're going to learn a Korean folk song called In the Thirties. With this song, we're going to learn to read the chords and play without notes. Also, we will learn five different ways of playing chords. Let's see how it goes. Have you ever seen this type of music before? If you play guitar, maybe you have seen. Many guitar musics are written like this. They play music with chords only. Many of you must wonder how people play songs without notes. But it's simple. Think about how to play chords. We learned it, right? C stands for C chord, and A stands for A chord, and G stands for G major chord. A minor is A M. Then we play it A minor chord. So with this chord symbol, we play the left hand. So C means C chord, C major chord. There's so many C's. You can choose any C's, but basically left hand plays from middle note to the bottom here. Why? Because melody line stands from middle C to the above. So normally left hand bass chord stands below. So we play bass C most often. So you can start from here and A M means A minor. So A minor, you go down C B A, A minor. Do you know what is the minor? Yes, if you still don't know, how to figure it out major and minor, watch my previous lesson, then you will see. But today, we'll just go over quickly the chords. What about the next? D minor. So, C, D, D minor. And what about F, C stands for? F, C means F stands for F chord. So, F chord. But after slash, C means C, the C will come on the bass. So you move this top C to bottom here. So the slash means F chord, but in this position. Got it? Yeah, so if we play from the D minor to F, C means like this. What about the next chord? C slash G. C chord, but starts with G. So C chord, where's the C? This is the C chord, but starts with the G. So G has to be bottom on here. So start with the G, C, E. That's what the slash means. And the next chord is a G. So since it's a G is here, G. Got it? Then, maybe the same chord's coming back again. A minor. So, A. And the next chord is E, M slash G. So, E minor chord. But start with the G. So, you have to start with the G. Then, G stays bottom means you move this E up. Like this. Then, G will come at the bottom, right? But if we think about it, this B and E stays closer to the middle C. So you just go octave lower. Then it should be closer to A minor and E slash G. That's the chord. And the F chord coming back again. And C, E. So we know the most of the chord now. That's how you read the chord. Then, how do we play with the right hand, melody line, and the chord? Now I will tell you how to do it. First, you just play a melody line as it is, just written like this on the score. So we start one, two, three, four, and the next right hand is an E, but do you see the chords above the E? It's a C chord. So you play a C chord with the note. Got it? So 
one, two, one, two, and then after the measure, there is no chord written on it. If there is no chord written, then you play the same chord, the previous one. So the C chord, and you play with the first beat. And the next note, the right hand is an A, and the chord is an A minor. So we move it left hand to the A minor, play it together at the same time. One, two, three, four. And then the right hand is tied, so you don't repeat it on the next measure, but you have to play a left hand chord, even if there is nothing written on it. There is no chord written, then you have to repeat the same chord. One, two, three, four. Got it? So basically, you play the chord whenever it's written on it. If there is no chord written on it after the measure, then you repeat the same chord from the previous one. Got it? So that's how you're supposed to play the chord. So now let's see how it goes. I will play from very beginning to the end. So right hand starts on G and left hand starts with the C chord. Ready? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And the same C chord. Play with the A, two, three, four, and then A minor again. Two, three, and the same A, but this time change to finger number one so that you can go up next note. And next note is F, and left hand, move it to D. One, two, one, two. And this is confusing one. F chord, but with C is on the bass, so move it to C, and then F chord is F A, so it's same one. So you can play it this fingering, or actually the best one is five to one. And next one, C on right hand, left hand is a C chord, but G is on the bass, so C chord bass on G. One. And right hand on D and left hand G. One, two, three, four. And right hand on C and left hand on A minor. Here, shifting up. And then same C but switch to finger number three. And step down to B, left, right hand. On left hand is E minor chord but G is on the bottom. So G is on the bottom. E minor is E, G, B. So that's how you can find. And step up to A and left hand is F chord. So you go down to F and F chord is F, A, C. Two, three, four. The next chord is a C slash E. So C chord but E is on the bottom, so E is on the bottom. C chord to C, E, G. Two, three, four, and then D minor. So you can go down D minor here, but I'm going up here because if we play it here, it's too low. So I'll just play on here. And F chord, but Bass starts on C, so C, F, A. And step up D, right hand. Left hand is G chord, but start with the B. So B, G, D is the chord. One, two, three, four. The next one is G seventh. So G seventh is, do you remember? G from two half step down. So that's the F. And then so many chord. So normally we leave it out the fifth one. Two, three, four. Up to here. So it repeats the same pattern over and over again. Except only one part. 
Now, if you see the second page, do you see F sharp, D, I, M? Means F sharp diminished chord, which we have never learned before. So that chord, I wrote it already on the music. We're gonna learn the diminished chord later on the lesson, not this time, but at the end of this level. So don't worry about it. Just wait until we get there. But anyway, F sharp diminished is is a start from the F sharp and then from third note and the fifth note. Everything is three half steps. So one, two, three, one, two, three. This is the F sharp diminished chord. We're gonna learn more details about this diminished chord, so don't worry about it. Anyway, this chord is F sharp diminished chord and start with the C, so that's the chord. So this is the only one that we have never learned and you don't know. And if you just memorize the part, F sharp diminished is played like this, then the last of the chord is exactly the same as beginning that we have learned now. First time, it's so hard to recognize the chord and it is not easy to play it right away. It takes some time to figure it out the chord and find the position and you match it with your right hand. It takes some time. But once you know the chord, where it is, then later on you can play it better. This time I'm going to play whole entire song in regular tempo with the black the chord. Let's see how it goes. One, two, three. sound right to play a chord is not simple of course you have to find the position and you have to move right away but if you know the chord you can play it so you need to practice to find the hand position and move on time and you have to also match with your melody line with the beats so I will tell you the practice tip for the left hand chord you can practice the chord with counting the beat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, 
one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, this way. So go by phrase by phrase and practice the chord with counting. You practice from very beginning to up to here a couple of times, and when you can play it well on the chord, then move it on to the next part because the same chord is repeated over and over again. So once you know where is the chord and how to play it, then it's much easier to play the next page.